It was the day after the meeting. Elt was taking the day off to recuperate. Good man. From the side, and I watched him as he read quietly. After a while, he closed his book and asked me if something was wrong. Did the meeting really go well? I'd waited for him outside. The proceedings had been secret. Eld had been the first one to emerge, and his mood had been excellent. I'd assumed that this meant he'd convince the others of his perspective. <laughs> I like the bold move I made in that meeting. You should have seen their faces. Apparently he hadn't convinced any of them whatsoever. His words now didn't match his exceedingly satisfied expression at all. A lot of letters have arrived severing diplomatic channels with us. Historians in future generations will have to decide whether this was a good or bad decision. I can only do my best. For now, the Valentine family fortune can be used to maintain things, but that won't last forever. Something else will have to be done. We can give that more thought. I'm still alive, so I'm sure that if I put enough work into it, I can figure something out. He smiled broadly, put his arm around me, and drew me closer. Yes? They're angry at me because of you. You changed my decision and my way of thinking. Will you marry me to atone for that? M marry I didn't know what to say. Instead of answering, I decided to backtrack to what he'd said. Changed your way of thinking? <laughs> yes. The blinding light of your sincerity and purity. It made me want to be like you. Didn't I tell you that I admire knights? I always wanted to be like them, defending justice and the weak with a sword. I thought I was like a knight in a way, but looking back I think I was just accommodating, not a knight at all. I thought that was alright as long as it made others happy, but I don't think I can accept that any longer. Preservation shouldn't be the goal, but rather progress. I will carry my own sword and forge my own path now. I don't want to be protected by you all the time. Are you saying... You don't need me to guard you? <laughs> no, dummy. Why would that be? What's the point of doing any of this without you? I want to be worthy of you. I want us to stand on equal footing. That's all. So I'm serious. You ignored my question earlier, but please think about whether you want to marry me. I wouldn't want to let you go and see you with someone else, alright? Uh... Um... Are you not sure what you want? We already kissed a lot. Don't you like me? Is kissing all you need of me? I... I, I just don't know what to say to marriage right now. I was never even engaged. <laughs> if you think about it, that's enough for me. It's enough if I'm on your mind. I will wait for an answer. All right. Shall we go out? I want to show you something amusing. Amusing? Yes. I hope I'm not the only one who finds it amusing. That segue, though. Okay? Elt and I walked through the city in the afternoon. Elt acknowledged everyone who greeted us on the street. I was relieved to see him so well-liked as he led me to the edge of town. This area has many workshops. Not many of them do new developments, though. Is this a car? We're going for a ride in a car? Here we are. Come on in. Ooh, new place. What is this place? The remnants of my dream. Or the beginning. Perhaps both. 
A lot of engineers used to work here making a vehicle for me. A vehicle? Like a horse? <laughs> it would have looked pretty funny if they had been working on making a horse. Perhaps it's more realistic than what I had them do. You know, I want to make a vehicle that flies. Nice. Flies? Yes. One of my favorite picture books contains a knight and his flying horse. I've wanted to fly ever since then. Besides, people could fly to the heights then. I'm sure the technology would sell very well to the right people. Is it possible? Who knows? I don't know anything about engineering. I had a lot of engineers here who I thought could make it happen. Sadly, for a variety of reasons, it was necessary to cease all work. But I think I'll call them back and have them resume work. If the economy is contracting, the state needs to expand its public work spending. Stagnation leads to decline. I don't know whether we will fly or whether Libra Litas' future will be bright. But we live only once. We have to be positive and try. Good luck, Alt. Flying. I can't imagine what it must be like, but to be able to fly like a bird is probably fun. You would be like the wind. It's not a matter of probably. I can guarantee it would be fun. Flying in a world that isn't divided into the depths and the heights. Yes, that's my dream. I hope I can fly with you. Yes, I hope so too. Not that I knew how we could manage to fly. But I looked at Elt, at his enthusiasm and dedication to his dream, and thought it might be possible. Ah. And we're back with the boy. That wasn't too long. I do worry and wonder what Finn's up to some of this time, though. <laughs> He's been very quiet. Makes me nervous. The next day. Since I had to tell them our strategy, I gathered the vice administrators of Libra Elitis. Cyrus looked like she'd wanted to take part, but I'd had to say no. I didn't want to provoke the vice administrators by bringing someone born in the Heights. What I'm going to tell them is provocative enough. Thank you for coming, everyone. Libra Elitis was the smallest and least established district in the Depths. Although I was leading the district, I was pretty sure that a fair number of people didn't want to see me in power. I was just too young. To make it more palatable to them, I had appointed four vice administrators. I was going to speak to those four people about the future of Libra Elitis. Elkreed. Can you explain the breakdown of relations with the other districts? These sudden tariffs are a heavy burden on the people. I'd like a very good reason. Yes. First of all, I'm sorry that everyone will suffer due to my selfishness. Selfishness? Yes. As you know, Libra Elitus was in chaos after I was attacked by the Hounds. This has provoked the Heights. The Heights demanded that an envoy be sent to negotiate. I was determined to be that envoy. Alas, the other districts requested of me that I die in the Heights so my death could be used for the Depths. I had to turn them down. They would have surely annexed Libra Elitus. My decision not to go to my death has angered the other representatives. They have severed diplomatic contacts with us. I apologize. The room was very quiet. I suppose it's natural to fall silent. It's not like they can very well tell me that I should have died. I understand. I like the Libra Elitas that you made, so I'm glad that you chose to live. I don't want to end up under the soles of their boots. However, life here is only good because of our trade with the other districts. I myself am a shopkeeper. Without trade with the other districts, my business won't survive. What are we going to do? 
Until our economy has stabilized, the Valentine family will use its fortune and the tax revenue to support it. Also, and this is a little difficult to say, I believe we should establish friendly relations with the Hounds in the Sanctuary District. Provocative indeed. With the Hounds? That's absurd. Did you forget their attack already? No, I haven't. But we are being viewed as hostile by the other districts. We aren't powerful enough to survive alone. We don't have the population for new projects. Working with them would give us allies and a larger workforce. That is the best plan I have. No way. I can't agree to that. Workforce? The people from the Heights? All they're going to bring is dirt and crime. That will not be a problem if we work with the Hounds. We can entrust the policing in both Libra Elitas and the Sanctuary District to them. No, no, no. The Hounds think of us as their enemies. Their second-in-command is a decent man, but I can't accept their commander. Yes, the man is insane. Elk Creed, we can't agree to your plan. But... In fact, you yourself are becoming difficult to agree to. Uh... I used to laugh at your love for the Heights, but this is going too far. Yes, yes. If I could never look at the people from the Heights again, that would be too soon. But help them! Absolutely not! If you like the Heights that much, you should live in the Sanctuary District and get lost! But... Then what else is there to do? What else can we do for Libra Elitis, in your opinion? I don't know. But the risk that the people from the Heights will hijack our district is too great. I'm sure the people feel the same. Not very many are going to listen to you with your eyes blinded by the Heights. If they won't listen to you, then you have no authority. Elk Creed, you should step down. And what will you do with me gone? We will see. You needn't worry about that. You serve the people well until today. Thank you. We would like to deal with you as the head of the Valentine Bank from now on. I see. Very well. I don't know how long the Libra Elita's name will remain, but I thank you for your help these past two years. <laughs> Damn. Did he give it all up? What's gonna happen now? I'm not particularly surprised at this result. It was one possible outcome. Still, it's hard to be rejected by the people I trusted. Yeah, I bet. What now, then? I'll have a lot more time on my hands. Not that I think the days to come will be particularly calm. Hmm. Man, I thought we were almost done, but now I'm not so sure. Hmm. I mean, he wasn't happy. He took his responsibility very seriously as leader of Libra Elitas, but... All the politics and role he had to play and stuff was not making him happy. <sighs> Sucks, though. About a week passed since Elt stepped down as representative of Libra Elitis. He was merely the head of the Valentine Bank now. Other than his change of position, our lives went on as always. I was still his bodyguard. Libra Elitas, on the other hand, had changed. The breakdown of diplomatic relations with the other districts had led to large tariffs. The district was slowly losing its vigor. When I looked at Elt, I saw that he wanted to do something, but couldn't relieve the people's unnecessary pain. 
El did his best to smile, but that was sad in its own way. It hurt me to see him lost in the darkness. I'm going to make pasta today. Whoa, I haven't eaten your food in a long time. That's true. I'll make you the best food I've ever made. It might be better to save that for later. Ulrich, where did you just come from? Not through the main entrance. This building has other entrances for someone like me. He took an apple from a box on the table and bit into it. There is a lot of unrest in Libra Alitas. It's still growing. And you know, this isn't entirely an internal affair. I smell the work of the other districts. The other districts? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they want to generate chaos, come in to restore order, and take the district. Something like that. What are we gonna do, Alt? Nothing. The district isn't mine anymore. Alt. In the past, he would have ordered his men to clean up. But now... I'm just his bodyguard. It's not my place to argue. No, that wasn't the right way to think about it. I couldn't just go along with ignoring it, too. I decided I would support him. I had to do something. Elt, you shouldn't look away. Think about what could be done or you'll regret it. Regret it? Yes. Don't tell yourself that it doesn't concern you anymore. Find a way forward, something you can do for everyone. And when you look back, you'll know you did the right thing. You don't have your old position anymore, but you still have your memory. If you really don't care, then you shouldn't look as miserable as you do. They told me they didn't need me. I don't think it's my turn to act now. People are suffering right now. Do you need a reason to help them? The Elt I know would always have helped them. I wonder. Yes, he would. You can't tell me I'm wrong, right? Because you really do want to help them. I trust you, Elt. You should trust yourself, too. Trust myself. Elt looked down and said nothing. I said all I had to say, and I think he understood me. The rest was up to him. I waited for him to speak. I suppose so. I'm still here because I wanted to live. Because I didn't want to lose Libra Elitus. I shouldn't be sulking here. And I don't really have time to be making pasta, do I? Alt! Perhaps I can use the fact that I'm no longer Libra Elitus's representative to calm this unrest. I have my ways. I will hand down orders to my people. Let's meet outside the building in five minutes. Ulrich, you too. Okay. Got it. What do I have to bring? Let's see. Love in your right, courage in your left, and justice in your heart. I'll meet you there. <laughs> that was very much like Elt. It was. I don't understand how he can just blurt out those things. I've got no clue. If we're meeting outside, we're probably going somewhere. Don't you think we need more equipment? I have my sword. That's all I need. What about you? I'll be fine. I'm used to operating at night. Let's go. Actually, there's one more thing. Candy. Snacks. He opened his bag and stuffed a bunch of oranges into it. Okay. Snacks! Why do you always steal Elt's food? I'm not stealing it. I'm going to eat it on the way. I can do whatever I want with the stuff here. <laughs> I still gotta find out what your relationship is. <laughs> Thank you for waiting for me. What orders did you give, Elt? I disperse my soldiers throughout Libra Elitas. They'll respond to any disturbance. But the number of my soldiers is limited. 
They probably can't police all of Libra Lita, so we will ask a friend to help. A friend? Yes. Well, he isn't a friend yet. I do hope he will be. Let's go, then. It's a bit too far to walk, so we will take the carriage. And we're having socks help out, I swear. The carriage departed with us inside. We galloped through Libra Alitas, headed, headed straight for our destination. About ten minutes later, the carriage stopped in front of a building. Oh. What is this? One of my other residences. Presently, this is where... <laughs> Have you just been keeping him here in one of your other houses? How rude. The hell are you doing here? <laughs> I gotta say, I do love the hounds music. It's pretty epic sounding. Soxon! The commander of the hounds, Soxon Brandenburg, is under house arrest. Good evening, Brandenburg. I'm glad you're doing well here. What, are you here to check on my welfare? Or did the Heights tell you they don't care if you kill me? Kill you? Why wouldn't they care? The Hounds are irrelevant compared to what's at stake for the Heights. They won't hesitate for a second to abandon us. What a pessimistic outlook. You seem well prepared to go to your grave. Of course I am. Nobody can rule forever. You rule for a time, and then you are cast down into the abyss. That's the way of the world. I see. Will you swear your life to me, then? What? If they're going to abandon you, swear loyalty to me, Saxon Brandenburg. Give your life to me. Nonsense. Who would give their life to the likes of you? My life is mine. Saxon, mind your language. It's alright. <laughs> I've known him for quite a while now. We've earned the right to insult each other. I can't trust the people from the depths. You're here for a reason. Why don't you tell me? Very well. Libra Elitas has very poor relations with the other districts right now. They are trying to provoke an uprising. For a variety of reasons, I have been dismissed from my position as representative. I'm just a banker at the moment, but I can't leave Libra Elitas the way it is. I have dispatched my soldiers, but they will not be enough to quell the disorder. Not being able to subdue this disturbance would be worse than doing nothing and could lead to even more chaos. I want to ask you and the Hounds to help me. W I knew he'd come with some kind of plan, but... Both Ulrich and I were very surprised. Are you asking the Hounds to intervene? Do you think that's a good idea? Who knows, really. We will know that once everything pans out one way or another. For the moment, all I need is the forces to quell this disturbance. The Hounds have those forces. In the open field, I'm sure the Hounds would lose to guns, but their experience and skill should prove superior in the chaos of the streets. There is nobody more trustworthy right now than the Hounds. Listen, you garbage! Don't ignore me when it concerns me the most! Oh, I apologize. I am a little pressed for time. And I suppose favors ought to be asked differently. Elk called one of his men over and told him to bring something. With you as my prisoner, this would hardly be a reasonable request, given your position. We should speak as equals. Elk's subordinate had brought Saxon's weapons. He put a long sword and a short sword on the table. There. They are yours again. Alt. Are you sure about this? Yes. He has to know that I'm serious. I'm sure Brandenburg will see reason. I'm close enough that I could kill you with this sword. Ah! It's alright. Go on, then. 
I was already told to die in the heights. In a way, I am on borrowed time already. Losing my life would only be fair. However, I do hope we can postpone the act until later. We need to clean up this mess inside Libralitas first. Afterwards, you may do as you like. Please. Lend your sword. And your strength. To Libralitas. Alt was kneeling in front of Saxon. Bowing to a prisoner of war. And Saxon in particular. <laughs> Saxon drew his sword without a word. <laughs> he put the flat of his blade on Elt's shoulder. The hounds will not obey someone from the depths. I will have full authority. I thought we were finally seeing eye to eye. But all right. Very well. Release the hounds you captured. I will see to it that the disturbances are quelled immediately. Rat. I hate you calling me that. But what do you want? Give this lighter to Inez and tell him what happened. You know what he's like. Tell him we need to restore justice or something, and he will bring his men. All right. Be back later. Well, then. I will... Go back and tremble in your big house. Saxon, it wouldn't hurt to be a bit more polite. With how Ulrich talks to me, I really don't mind. What exactly do you mean, though? You're too important for the future of Libra Elitus. We can't lose you in some back alley scuffle. Wait where it's safe. But... I will take the girl with me in your stead. Perhaps she can soak up a bullet. Y You're going to soak up a bullet for me! I don't want to fight at Socks inside, but... Elt, I want to make myself useful. I understand. Take it. I will. You too. Am I fighting with the Socks and Brandenburg? Of the H-O-U-N-D-S? <laughs> that is amazing. I want a new CG of Cyrus and Socks and fighting back to back. And my life will be complete. That's all I want. The rest of the night was spent laying out a strategy and gathering supplies. In the morning, we moved to act. I ran through the silent streets together with the hounds. Am I going to run into Finn when Inez comes? Are we going to fight together? One last hurrah. Will he take a bullet for me? So many questions. I definitely didn't expect to be fighting with them one day. I didn't consider it dishonorable. It just didn't sit well with me. We don't know the strength of their third force. Stay alert. Got it. Gah! What? Inez! Everyone! Disperse according to plan. Slay only those with guns. We're still far from the objective. Perhaps it was better to avoid battle and take the long way around, I thought. Okay, that way. What is our objective? I ran through back streets. Eventually, I came back out far from the main street. I don't hear gunshots anymore, but from this location, I... <laughs> I saw a group of men with guns and hid in the shadows. Oh no, they're coming this way. I looked for a better place to hide. There were no obstacles. What now? What now? I'll go. <gasps> that voice. It can't be. I turned around. <laughs> Hi. Finn! I'll distract them. Use that moment to get past them. But, do you want us both to die? I'd like you, at least, to survive. 
But there are so many of them. They'll kill you. Perhaps. Perhaps not. A miracle let me see you again. I might get another one. I haven't ever cut a gallant figure. Let me be the hero at least in death. Stop that, you idiot! Don't talk about it like you're going to die. <laughs> I'm sorry. But if I... What is it? No, it's nothing. I'm the only one who can protect you right now. It's an honor. Goodbye! <whistles> Finn walked into the light and blew his police whistle. When he knew they had noticed him, he ran. I saw their shadows rushing past me. Okay, now's my chance. I ran in the opposite direction when the sound of their footsteps was growing faint. Finn, please don't die. The thunder of a gunshot struck into my heart. Damn it. Ah! Another gunshot. And then another. Extinguish my hopes. Hey, don't kill him! I don't want him to die so easily. I can't turn back. This is what he sacrificed himself for. I'm sorry, Finn. Finn! <laughs> don't you die on me! You stupid yen dairy butt! I swear. I swear, Finn. Gah. My shoulder hurt. My stomach and my legs hurt as well. My body was hot where I'd been shot. My joints were screaming. <laughs> you guys are incompetent. You know that we don't have infinite bullets, right? Try to conserve them. What the? <laughs> Who the frick are you? <laughs> Look at this guy! Sheesh, do you have heterochromia? Because if so, nice. Getting meeky feels all of a sudden. A man who looked like their leader approached me. He smelled of grease and oil. Like everyone in the depths. If you're gonna shoot someone, aim for the head or the chest. Alright. He was treating my life like a cat treated mice. Ah. But I was the same. I had been trained as a hound, and I had hunted and killed for my masters. I had never hesitated, been conflicted, or pitied my prey. Chasms of nothingness had opened in my soul. Eventually I had become empty inside. I never enjoyed murder, but I was too far gone to consider it bad enough not to do it. I was human refuse, just as bad as they were. Refuse is disposed of, as I would be disposed of. That was all. Like this. <clears throat> like hell you will! Ah! She came back! We get to see her from outside eyeballs for the first time, and it's Finn of all people. Girl. Wh Cyrus! Why? You know perfectly well why. I'm not going to leave you behind! You're my partner! I'm sorry we haven't seen each other in so long. You must have suffered a lot. Oh. No, I... Aw, oh, the love of my life. My heart! Ugh. This game is gonna kill me. I watch the love of my life fight in beautiful, fluid motions. With sword in hand, she beat the ones who had shot me. She's so good. 
You're so much better than I am. I couldn't move my body anymore. Tears were making it difficult to see. No. It wasn't tears that were making it difficult to see. As blood and life left my body, I lost the ability to tell her of my feelings. And yet, I was so happy I forgot the pain. Hey, Cyrus. I couldn't be by your side. But I hope you'll remember me in a corner of your heart. Just a little is fine. I'd be so happy if you remember me. Goodbye, Cyrus. Thank you. Goodbye, Finn. And thank you. Gah! Okay, that should be all of them. Finn made the surprise attack possible. I was out of breath, but I had no time to rest. I had to treat Finn's wounds. Finn! Are you okay? There's so much blood! Can you move? There was no response. No way. This can't be true. If you can't walk, I'll help you. I'll drag you if I have to. I tried to drag him away by his uniform. He didn't move an inch himself. He was like a puppet with its strings cut. Warm blood ran over the gray stone. No, no! I didn't want to admit it. I didn't... Want to admit he was dead. <laughs> You're pulling a prank on me by staying quiet, right? And that's also why you're not moving. You're... I didn't want to admit it. The pool of blood on the pavement was growing in size. He wasn't move. He wasn't breathing. He looked to me like he could get up and start talking at any moment. If I had been a little faster, perhaps I could have saved him. Perhaps I should have stopped him. Besides, if I had never been exiled, Finn... He wouldn't have been sent to the Hounds then. It's my fault that he's dead. I'm sorry, Finn. I'm the one who killed you. <sighs> Wasn't you, girl? It was the person who shot him, ultimately, whoever that was. <sighs> and then whoever set you up is ultimately to blame. Do you really have time to reminisce? Saxon. I'm disappointed in my dog for dying in such a trivial battle. Don't call him a dog. Finn is... a great man. If he had lived, yes. But now he is dead, and that's the end of everything. Man or dog, we are all just flesh and blood. Stand up, girl. The battle isn't over yet. Don't leave us short of what little you have to offer. Yes. You're right. Unfortunately. I will come back for you, Finn. You'll get a proper burial. Wait for me here. 